Hello, everyone. This is Stephen Ramsden coming to you live from Atlanta, Georgia, with this week in birding and nature photography on Sunlit Earth. I um, am ex very happy for this week's show. We have some really wonderful guests. A famous celebrity has joined us also from the UK. And <laughs> we have um, my dear friends, Rafael Colon Romano and Fritz Picardo Cornelio from the Dominican Republic. These, uh, the hospitality in the Dominican uh, DR, they call it, is unrivaled in the entire world. These people treated me like a king when I was there. I was there uh, several times establishing my uh, Sunlit Earth nonprofit. Um, everyone on the show is an avid birder and also a famous solar astronomer and imager. So what a great show. I'm really looking forward to it. And speaking of solar astronomy and imaging, um, Sunday night at uh, 6 p.m. Universal Time, which is, I think, 2 p.m. in Atlanta uh, and the Dominican Republic. We are having a special solar astronomy and solar imaging advanced Zoom meeting from the solar chat forum. This was Alexander Hart's idea. Uh, if you don't know, Alexander uh, is the current reigning champion of the Astrophotography Photo of the Year Award. She beat the pants off me in, in London when I went there thinking I was going to win. And uh, she is awesome. So, without uh, further delay, we're gonna we're gonna start our meeting. Fritz and um, Raphael are gonna talk about some of the beautiful birds in the Dominican Republic. And those of you that don't know where the Dominican Republic is, which is a lot of people in the United States or the UK, it is on the island of Hispaniola, uh, about 200 miles south of Miami, I think. And it is the east side of the island. The west side of the island is Haiti. And this is one of our chapters for the Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world, uh, settled by the Spanish in the 1700s, 1600s. And Santo Domingo has some of the greatest architecture in the world, some of the most beautiful sites, and some of the most beautiful birds. All the birds that we have here in the US that just left a couple weeks ago are all down at Raphael's house now. They're hanging out in Fritz's backyard. <laughs> And uh, interesting story, when I went there in uh, 2014 for International Sunday, oh, there's a hummingbird now on Raphael's hummingbird feeder. It's backlit, but I believe that's a mango hummingbird. And there it goes after a fly, awesome. Uh, I, I went to the uh, DR in 2014 for a celebration we call Sunlit Earth, I'm sorry, uh, International Sunday and uh, spoke to some of them. I'm trying to pull up a nice photo for everybody to see. Uh, they're, <laughs> they're all funny photos, uh, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, here's, well, here's uh, Raphael uh, doing what, what we do best in the Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project, uh, explaining the sun. Notice he's wearing the same outfit I'm wearing because uh, he's, he is the director of our Dominican chapter of the Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project. So let me stop that screen share and get to the program. Uh, Rafael, how, how are you this morning? Uh, wait a minute, um, como esta? Hi, <laughs> I'm you. just very happy to be here. Thank you for the invitation. I'm really, really happy to be here. Uh, Rafael, well, what, where exactly do you live? Well, I live in the is a uh, part of the of the Santo Domingo. Yeah. This so in, is the, in the suburbs or the outskirts yeah. of town, and you work yeah. in Santo Domingo. You're with a a, a supermercado, is that right? That's right. Uh, <laughs> now I'm the head buyer of a, a supermarket. Uh, oh, so a chain of supermarkets. A chain of supermarkets. That's wow. right. Can you get me I, a good I, price on uh, chicken? Just curious. Well, no, I'm not <laughs> the manager of the supermarket. I, I, I'm just uh, working with the with the buying. And have you lived in in uh, Santo Domingo your whole life? Yeah, yeah. And how old are I you? Used, I, I grew up uh, in the colonial city of Santo Domingo. Okay. Uh, this is a, a beautiful place uh, it is beautiful. where it's all the the old uh, church and monuments in Santo Domingo. Uh, is really as uh, in front of, of the the Caribbean Sea. It's right. really a, a, a wonderful place to, to live. And and you're married with two children. 
Well, I have three. <laughs> three children. Yeah. And how, how old are you, Rafael? You're 29? 29. 29. No, 45 years old. <laughs> 45. You're a, just a young buck. You're just a rookie. <laughs> You're the youngest person on the show by far. Uh, well, except for Alexander. She's only 19. Um, and you are the director for the Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project in the Dominican Republic. And tell us a little bit about your astronomy club there that you belong to. Well, uh, we have an association, uh, the Dominican Astronomy uh, Association. So in, in, we also do a lot of uh, outreach program, uh, solar outreach program. And we have for more, maybe 10 years, uh, mm -hmm. we are with the, with the solar program, mm -hmm. but the institution is almost uh, 20, 20 years old. Yes, very good. So your, your, uh, your astronomy program that Fritz is also a member of is almost 20 years old in the Dominican Republic. Yes. Is that what I heard? Yeah, well, 10 years, maybe 10, 10 years. years. Wow, yeah. that is great. And uh, Carl's and uh, I wish I could, rem and Manuel and- yeah. Everyone there was so friendly to me. It was hard to believe. Um, I, I very much enjoyed coming to see you. And of course, uh, Chris Fernandez here in the United States in New York is the one that sort of helped us arrange everything. And he acted as the translator on our yeah. uh, trip there. And um, my wife went with me as well one time and you took us birding. Uh, yeah. Where I saw my first American kestrel. And, and I'm going to share a quick photo of the American kestrel. Um, if I can, I've never seen one before, and you showed it to me when we were in your country. Let's see. Yeah, this is the, the east part of the island. Uh, it's uh, uh, Punta Cana. It's a wonderful place, beautiful beach, and a lot of uh, bird there. It's uh, a crystal. <laughs> yeah, what, what do you call this bird in your country? We have so many names for this bird. Uh, we call it Kujaja. <laughs> Kujaja. Yeah, Kujaja. <laughs> it's so romantic. You know, everyone, um, we always talk about accents on this program. And everyone in the United States uh, loves to listen to a Latin American accent, especially from a romantic man such as yourself. Um, this is a female, a female one. Uh, that's even better to me. Penelope Cruz comes to mind. I don't know if you know who that is, but uh, she's an actress. And uh, she, her voice, I could just fall asleep to listening to her voice. And Alexandra's English accent. I mean, this show is super legit, man. We had the best accents going, okay? <laughs> and, uh, we need to get a couple of Cotneys and Scottish people on the broadcast so we can have some, some more cool accents. Uh, Fritz. Fritz, yes. Fritz, 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 Fritz. You, <laughs> are you a Star Trek fan? <laughs> Okay, because I want to always call you Captain Picardo. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know, uh, the doctor on uh, Star Trek Voyager was played by actor Robert Picardo. So maybe, maybe he is your nephew or your cousin and you can- Wait, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Um, Fritz is a chemist by education. He has a graduate degree in chemistry, very intelligent guy. Uh, oh, and you run you. a business in the Dominican Republic. You are a businessman? Yes. I am working for uh, 23 years in a safety match factory Ah, I see. As, a, as a general manager over there. So you, you um, and you are a little older than Rafael. You're what, 39? No, thank you. <laughs> I am 61. Oh, my goodness. And do you have children and grandchildren in the Dominican? Uh, two children. And he's living in the United States. While oh. he's physics, uh, he's making his uh, PhD in physics, he's uh, astrophysics. And the other one is biologist. And he's doing also his PhD wow. in, bot in botanic. Wow. And they're both getting their doctorate in the United States? Yes, one is in Florida State so, University and the other is in so uh, you are Texas broke, then. Tech. So you have zero money. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh so yeah. Is it get, is it um, university is university uh, free in the Dominican Republic or do you have to pay to go there as well? Yes, 
I mean, they, they have a, a teacher assistant over there. Mm -hmm. Rafael, do you know, is college tuition uh, funded by the government there? Well, yeah, we have a, a local a university. The, this is the, the, the oldest in the, in the America. Uh, uh -huh. and this is free. Yeah, it's okay. Free. So you have to maintain grades to continue going, but it's paid for by the well, government. Yeah. We, we, don't, we don't have uh, like astronomy career, but mm -hmm. we have uh, physics and they start Student physics. We have a member of the Dominican Astronomy Society that, that is uh, studying physics, and then ah. they are thinking to to complete the study outside. The, I see. I see. The um, and Rafael and Fritz uh, both speak fluent English, as you can see. Um, we in the United Thank States. <laughs> well, we in the United States are really stupid because we we look down on people speak, speaking a different <laughs> language. It's crazy. We're the dumb ones. I mean, the only language I can speak is English. So I apologize that I'm not intelligent enough to have learned a foreign language. <laughs> um, but I do speak math, I would like to point out. So oh, yeah. if you need to speak in mathematics, we can, we can revert to that. I believe Alexandra is also fluent in mathematics. She is a scientist as well. Steve Rushing is on with us. He's a scientist. Miguel Acevedo is on. And uh, he is clearly a Hollywood actor. Look at his face. And, <laughs> <laughs> so... So we're going to get to it now. Fritz, I visited your home in 2014 and... What's an honor? What's that? It was an honor to receive you here. Oh, thank you. Uh, it was it, it, very nice to meet you. Um, and we had a hummingbird fly up right next to us when I was standing there petting your dogs, your wonderful dogs. <laughs> and uh, here comes the hummingbird and just flies around my legs and takes a sip from the flower. And it was, it was fantastic. So I got a photograph of a hummingbird on your patio at your home. I remember, yes. <laughs> and that's when I think we realized that we were all also uh, bird enthusiasts. So um, Fritz is gonna tell us a little bit about it. Fritz, you, I'm gonna have you go first, if that's okay. Um, is that all right with you, Rafael? Yep. Yeah. Okay, and Fritz, uh, if, you're, if you need any help with the English, uh, please ask Rafael, and please feel free to speak in Spanish. It's fine with me if you want to. Um, uh, okay. So, Fritz is going to tell us about some of the migrating birds in, uh, in the Dominican Republic. And also, uh, I believe Raphael and Fritz are both going to show us some of their native birds. They have quite the character uh, birds there. And those that have just checked in, Matilda and Miguel, thank you so much for attending. And if you would like to make a comment uh, in English or Spanish, please feel free. Uh, this program is for everyone to enjoy. And Alexandra, the same to you, of course. Um, so Fritz, uh, go ahead and, and, and start the show. Okay, did you share the, the screen? Um, you'll, I am making okay. you the main character now. There you go. Okay, let me. Okay, can you see now? Yep. I, I can see you. I can see you. But I cannot see your screen. Okay, let me share the, your screen, please. Take your time. We, we um, are not all that savvy internet wise here, so. Okay, I'm going to share the screen now. This one. Okay, we see it now, thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to talk about migratory birds in the Hispaniola. This picture of the greater flamingo was taken about one month ago when the flamingo started migrating to the island. island. There are no breeding visitors. Let's hear his voice. Can you hear it? No. Oh, I, I, I. No. Oh, I, I forgot to do something. Sorry, let me. On share the screen. Take your time, Chris. We have all day. We want to hear the voices. And if the watchers didn't understand, he has got audio calls along with all of his uh, all of his slides. So this should be really fun. So turn up your volume, Fritz. Crank it up, brother. Matias, volume. Just a minute, please. Uh, let me see. Let, let's stop sharing. I, I'm going to share again because I forgot to do something. Sharing computer sound. 
You should know that we've never had anyone make a mistake on this broadcast, and you're the first person ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, let's see if you can hear the sound. Can you yes. hear now? Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Okay. The, as you said, Stephen, the Hispanic Island is divided in two countries, the Dominican Republic and the Haiti. We are located in the Greater Antilles. We receive about 150 types of birds every year from the Neotropics. And they, uh, migratory birds are those that breed during the summer in the North region, mainly in the United States and Canada, during the month of May to September, and they spend the rest of the year in Central America, the Caribbean, South America. They travel to these places because they find suitable climatic and food conditions that allow them to survive during the winter season. The pictures show semi-palmated plover that already migrate to this island. Later, we are going to talk about them. We have in the Dominican Republic different and important ec ecosystems around the whole country. This is the reason why the Dominican Republic is of a great importance for migratory species due to the great diversity of the terrest terrestrial ecosystem, such as mangroves, coral reefs, beaches, rocky coasts, coastal wetlands, dunes and rivers, among others. This is a picture of one important mangroves that is located to the south of the island. We can call Las Salinas, which is about one hour, let's say 45 mi miles from Santo Domingo City. I am working in a personal project of taking pictures of migratory birds in the Dominican Republic by visiting several places when those birds are coming. I'm going to show a small presentation of some pictures of migratory of some migratory shore birds that I have been taking recently. As you can see in the chart from Audubon, some shore birds are difficult to identify because they have a small difference between them. Let's see some of them. This is a list and piper. These are no breeding visitors, which are common in spring and fall. When those short birds are far away, we have to identify, identify them by knowing how they move or fly and by hearing the sound. Let's hear is. Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. The least sandpiper are common migrant in spring and fall throughout West Indies in the periods of August to October and April to May. These are uncommon, no breeding resident between November to March. His habitat are mud, flats, and still water borders. These are the still sandpiper. This bird have larger beak than the last one, the least sandpiper, but are similar in the feathers and body. Let's see closer. You can see that look very similar, except for his long beak and his voice. Let's hear it. You can see that it's very different to the last one. This bird are common in spring and for as no breeding visitor in Cuba, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Antigua, and Guadalupe. And it's uncommon in the other West Indies countries. His habitat are mud flats and shallow lagoons. 
Here the Rudy turns on with a crab in his beak. I was so lucky to take picture of this bird in this stage. This is the color of the breeding one. They lose their color in a short time after arriving. There are no breeding visitors. Let's see the common color after migration. Here, you can see that they lost the orange color. This is how you go to see usually. Let's hear his voice that are also very different to the other one. It's a chirp. Those birds are common in West Indies in spring and fall, except June and July. Some of no breeding visitors stayed through all the summer. His habitat are mud flats, pan, edges, sandy, and rocky coast. This is the wimber. It's easy to identify because it's a large and sturdy bird and he has a down curved bill. It is uncommon in spring and fall. I took this picture just beginning of September. Let's hear his voice. Very loud. The Wimber are generally uncommon to rare, but regular no breeding visitor. You can find them in West Indies countries, primarily in September. Sometimes they remain as no breeding resident. His habitat are ponds, mangroves, swamps, and marshes. This picture was taken in a mangroves. This is the principal small sandpiper to know well because this is the most common sandpiper on Hispaniola and it is a standard for identification against which all others should be compared. This is his voice. They are very common, as I said, in spring and falls as no breeding visitor. They are found in West Indies from August to October, less frequent April to May. They can found on mud flats and still water edge from puddles to salt ponds. I took this picture in a salt ponds in Las Calderas. 45 minutes, uh, one hour from here, from the, the city. This is the spotted sandpiper. This can be distinguished by his dark patches on sides of breast. They are usually alone or in a small groups. This picture was taken on September 17, where this sandpiper was completely alone I am going to show a picture of another spot sandpiper that I took one month later on October 17. Also, this spot sandpiper was alone too, for a long time in an old place. Let's hear his song. There are no breeding visitors in West Indies, which are common during spring and fall. The habitat are water edges and mangroves, coastlines and streams. This picture was taken in Nigua wetlands. This ecology park, as we call, are very nice to watch a lot of species of birds. This is very close to Santo Domingo City. Last Saturday, 
a group of bird watchers visit this wetland to celebrate Global Big Day. And we reported to either 32 species of birds in four hours. Amazing, it was amazing. This is a black billy plover. This is a recent picture from last week taken in a sandy beach. Let's hear the voice. These are no breeding visitor birds. We are regular in spring and fall. Some of them stay through June to July. They mainly go to tidal mudflats, sandy beaches, and other coastal western edges. This is a semi palmet plover. We can identify this bird for his dark breast band. Let's hear his boy. This bird are no breeding visitor in West Indies from August to May, most frequent in September and October. His habitat are tilted flats and sometimes in beaches. I finished here with this presentation of migratory shortbreads feature. I am also taking pictures of other migratory birds. There are some other migratory bird pictures that I have been taking lately. I finished my presentation with these pictures. Here you can see a little blue heron, mm -hmm. the American Ristar, the Cape May Wobbler. This one visit my Baja last Sunday. And finally, the black and white Wobbler. Here is my short presentation. Let me start sharing. Thank you so much, Fritz. I, I think it's um, wonderful that you have the bird voices with the slides. Um, that really brings the presentation alive. Um, can you can you tell me uh, a couple things? I took this photo with Raphael. What kind of bird is this? It, this is the the our national bird. Ah. This is our national bird. Uh, we call Cigua Palmera, Pan ah. Chat bird, Pan Chat bird. Very good. And also, um, I took this photo with Rafael. Rafael took me to a park and showed me some really awesome birds. This bird was scary. It was frightening. The El Carpintero. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, you know, we, we have, we call them woodpeckers in the United States and uh, carpenteros in the Dominican. Uh, this bird's eyes were evil, you know, and it was very, very cool. So <laughs> I was very fortunate to be able to see these birds with Raphael. And let me tell you, those birds that stay in the summer, um, they put up with a very high temperature because I could barely take it. It was, it was, <laughs> it, it was very hot in your country in the summer. I was there in June. Oh yes, very hot. And yes. do you know what kind of bird uh, this is? <laughs> <laughs> this is bird food, I guess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we we went to a uh, I don't know what you call them uh, cenote or a, a pond, and went swimming. Uh, in the clearest water I've ever seen. And, and uh, we saw shrimp and little creatures in the water uh, that were nibbling, they were biting on my ankles and my feet. And Natalie was with me and Natalie loved your country. And Natalie, we have been wanting to come back and see you ever since. Uh, we have to wait for this stupid virus to get over with. Um, but uh, this is what happy looks like in the, uh, uh, 
in the Dominican Republic. And I don't know if that's a giant turtle on the beach behind her, but that's what we're gonna call it. So Fritz, I wanna tell you how um, impressed I am with your presentation and your fluent English. Oh, um, no, no, no. <laughs> I, oh, wait. I, thank you. And you sound great. And, and thank you. Uh, thank you for your presentation. And Raphael, um, do you have a few yeah. photographs of birds that you would like to, to share with us as well? Can you yeah. speak yeah, with us a little bit? I have some, some picture I want to share with you. Let me share the screen. By the way, Raphael is a Sunlit Earth sponsored photographer. He is using a camera body and lens from that was my, my personal camera body and lens. And Fritz uh, uses uh, Sunlit Earth and Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project sponsored computer and camera. Yes. And I hope it's still working. And yes, yes, of course. So donors and sponsors to the Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project. Um, these are the things that your your donations every year go to. We in, and these people, you know, can buy their own cameras if they want. They're just very difficult to get in their country. So uh, allowing these very very talented and intelligent individuals to have uh, more advanced equipment makes it better for all of us because we get to see the product of of their love for nature. And of course, this is all sunlight that we're looking at this pelican now. And this is just reflected sunlight from the sun. So it's all the same thing to me and Raphael. And I will turn it over to you now, Raphael, and thank you very much. Do you see the, the image? In the we screen? do, yes. Okay. It that looks picture, like my ex-wife. That picture <laughs> uh, I took when, when you first came to the Dominican Republic. We, we met in the, in the shore of uh, Malecon Place. And we had a, a lunch I, I, I took, on the balcony, right? We had yeah, a, yeah, and I took yeah. this picture. When you we tried to there. force alcohol down my throat. <laughs> you get me drunk. <laughs> and I don't drink, so it was funny. This is a red-legged truck. Uh, this is from my, well, I took this picture right fr from here. Uh, this is my window from my uh, bedroom. So I just, well, th this is the same, the same tree you can see here. <laughs> And did you say that's a red-legged thrush? Yeah, this is a red-legged thrush, yeah. What do they eat, do you know? Uh, they, they love to eat a lot of uh, uh, little insects. Uh, uh, Bugs, insects? Yeah, insects. Ah, do they come to your bird feeder also? No, 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 okay. no. Okay. This is really, it's really big and uh, it's what like, they, they don't like to be with any other birds. Ah, <laughs> ah. This is my little friend. <laughs> this is a uh, this hummingbird. This is a uh, Mejisuga minima. This is uh, the the, the, uh, the second littlest bird in the world. Uh, they also uh, uh, have the the little uh, nest in the world. Yes, very very small. He was taking a bath in. <laughs> inside this uh, leaf. <laughs> this leaf, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Mockingbird. Mockingbird. <laughs> it's a be beautiful mockingbird. Uh, this, uh, I love the, the boys. Yeah. Uh, you know, Raphael, really when we went birding, I thought it was amazing how many of the same birds that we had. And I guess that makes sense because we're so close to each other. But it's very interesting to see how many of the same birds we have in our yards together? Yeah, yeah. Except for this, this one. <laughs> this is the the, the same. Uh, this is the the, the little hummingbird, and it's still wet. You can see it was <laughs> yeah. it was drying his feather. <laughs> mm. This is recently a, a picture I took when uh, Fritz uh, came to my home and we have a little safari in front of my house. <laughs> right. What kind of bird is this? Uh, this is, uh, let, me, let me see, I, I, I just, uh, this is a yellow faces grass quit. This yellow is a grass faced quit. grass quit. Yeah, uh, this, this is the male one. This is the male one. 
have the the colors in the faces mm. are, are are strong than, than the, the male. male. Yeah. Yep. Always the, the the male have more colors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Is uh, making uh, his uh, nest. This is also the grass clip. No, this, no, this is, is a, a village weaver. This is a village weaver. They used to to make uh, uh, his nest, uh, and and they enter from 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 the down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from the bottom, from the bottom. Of so they weave the grass between the stems to make the nest, and they have a hole in the bottom that they go into. It's incredible how they they can do all this this thing. Uh, with wow. all the... I wonder how the eggs do not fall out. Yeah, let me see another one. Holy moly, look at that. This is a, nut, a nutmeg. Nutmeg? Yeah. One of my favorite ones. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a, a couple of days ago, uh, I, was, I was in the parking lot and I just sit in the floor and I was taking a picture of all things, but they, they came down and walked just by me. I I have to to backward because I I can focus. They were so close to me. It was incredible, uh -huh. incredible. Uh -huh. And now, these birds eat seeds, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell from the beak that it's yeah. You can see it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm. And this is a parking. Uh, <laughs> They are eating mango. You can see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you. Uh, I remember one of your friends had a mango tree, and they were giving me mangoes from the tree to eat. And um, I've never seen them before, but I love mangoes. And these are parakeets or parrots or uh, parakeets. Wow. And yeah, how parakeet. com how common are these? Are they everywhere? We have we have a really really much parakeet. Uh, mm. They live. They live near uh, Fritz Pichardo House. This is uh, Fritz <laughs> live. Ricardo. Live. Uh, Fritz live uh, near uh, our Central Park. Uh -huh. We have a big park that, that is a lot of species. And are uh, these birds very loud? It, they it, make lots of noise. It's amazing. They they fly every day, uh, like more than ten kilometers all over the the the, the, the city. And in the in at night they return to <laughs> to 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 Fritz house. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what this bird is. Uh, this is a black-billed cuckoo. No. Yeah, that's right. Ah. This is my favorite uh, bird. I ah. I really love this bird. I love the colors, and they have this uh, no this uh, this the, 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 the they say it like like. <laughs> At Hang night, I, I, I can hear all the night uh, near my house. Uh, okay. That was in the Central Park. That was in the, the Mirador Sur. We well, well, I I have a surprise for you. Um, this this particular bird came to visit me a few, a few months ago and brought me a message from you. Um, wait a minute. I'm going to turn off yours for a minute and turn okay. on mine. OK, OK. Hey. Oh, wow. This is the black billed cuckoo uh, next to my house. Beautiful. He, he wow. sent me a message uh, that, that said that he had the $20 that you owed me, but he did not pay <laughs> it. So. <laughs> Beautiful. So, this is a very rare bird for us to see. And when this bird came to our house, we get the yellow billed cuckoo a lot, but the black billed is very rare. And there were birders all over the place. There were probably 20 people trying to find this bird in that spot. So that, that's your favorite bird. That's great. So reshare your screen. And I will try not to interrupt as much, but I really love the birds in your country. OK. Miguel, nice to see you. OK. Let me see. Whoa. This is a great king bird. Um, king bird? Yeah. A great, great king bird? bird. Okay. Yeah. Wow. More parakeets. This is from my balcony. Uh, 
they're leaving for Fritz's house in this picture? Today, in this, in this tree, uh, today I saw uh, a really big uh, uh, hero, a uh, night hero. Ah. That is this perch uh, in, this, in this tree. Maybe it's right now there. Yes. Yeah. I love this picture uh, because I can see through this uh, reptile just a uh, it's, it's amazing how the sun just yes make it uh, translucent. Yes, through his toes really, and you, really can, you can see through the skin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's bird food, right? That's a bird food lizard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. This is my little my little <laughs> friend <laughs> again. Okay. Uh, this is a, a migratory bird I took uh, in front of my house. Uh, recently, the prince got some uh, from his house too. This is a wobbler. Let me see. This is a Cape May wobbler. Cape May, yes, yeah. a male. Yeah, a uh, male, yeah. They come through uh, my, my city on their way to you. So next time I will tie a telescope to it so we can fly it to you. This is a, be a better picture. <laughs> You can see here that all the beautiful. Look at lines. that. Yeah, the chest. Beautiful. Uh, I, I I always looking for for that kind of uh, thing, like the, the 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 light from the sun, just making all these kind of things. This is just amazing. I I always amazing on how we can see the reflecting light uh, of the sun. In, in our, our place. It is this beautiful. is just amazing. I, I love this. Hey. This is a little one. <laughs> this is uh, a great kingbird, uh, a juvenile one. Mm -hmm. Just waiting for food. <laughs> yes, yes, the baby. <laughs> mm. Is that a mockingbird? Yeah, that's a mockingbird. Yeah, that's a mockingbird. That's a very unusual looking mockingbird with the spots on its neck. Yeah, you know, I can see it. I can maybe see it. it's a, a young mockingbird, a baby. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. And um, this is uh, the cuckoo bird. <laughs> cuckoo. Uh, just with his foot. <laughs> now, is that a mangrove cuckoo or is that a black billed cuckoo? Do you know? This this is the biggest the biggest uh, one in the country. We have uh, like three kind uh -huh. uh, in the in the in the country. Uh, there is a, a little one. This is a big one. Uh, it looks and like he's uh, showing off his lizard to you. I, it's amazing. Uh, the, I, I spent like an hour taking all kind of picture to this. He was like, uh, you can see here now. <laughs> see here and. It, that, was, that was incredible, incredible. And I have the whole sequence. Uh, well, oh, yeah. now you see, now yeah, you don't know. see. <laughs> yeah. He was that's, looking at me. That is amazing. That's the lizard cuckoo. <laughs> the lizard, the lizard Espanol, cuckoo. Lizard Espanol cuckoo. and liz, Espanol lizard, lizard, lizard cuckoo. Okay. That's, that's right. Yeah. Uh, a nutmeg. Nutmeg. Uh, yeah. Uh, close up. And this is our national bird. This is a, a palm chat. Palm it's chat. Eating, yeah, we get those uh, so, here also sometimes. Eating some guava. They love it. <laughs> they love that. I have a tree in front of my house and there is always there. Eating guava. <laughs> okay, this is uh, the, the great uh, kingbird feeding in his cheek. What a beautiful picture. And that is a grackle? This is a grackle, yeah, th yeah. That's a grackle. This is the, the greatest Antillian grackle. I see. And well, this was some of my favorite picture I want to show you to, well, to share with you. <laughs> I you hope so you enjoy much. it. 
I and are you taking you. these photographs with the um, the 100, 400 lens that we sent down? Does it still work? Yeah, yeah, this is still working. The 50, Great. Yeah, 50D, I think. The uh, Canon 50D. Uh, and, the, and the, yeah. Now, if you remember. Working. Great. Good. Um, can you stop your screen share? Right now. I want to go over a couple of things because um, while you were showing your photographs, I was looking through some of the pictures that I took when I was there. And I did not have my fancy camera. I did not own my fancy camera in 2014. I bought that after I retired as a gift to myself. When I was in the Dominican Republic, I had a very small point I and remember. shoot. I remember. Camera. Yes, point and shoot camera. And uh, I was an amateur, a very, very amateur. So let me change the view here. So everyone should see the gallery view now, hopefully. Okay. So I wanted, I was just going over my photographs and I realized that, that um, I saw some pretty awesome birds too. Like, what kind of bird is this? <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the rooster, the rooster was everywhere. But I did find uh, this bird. And I remember you um, provided my wife and I with a beautiful condominium in Punta Cana on the beach uh, that your friends owned and let us stay there and it was fantastic. <laughs> we could not believe it. But we saw this bird and it has a bad name, but you can use the, the good name. Uh, and I was just fascinated by this bird the whole time I was there. Raphael, I know they call this a slang name, but do you know the real name for this bird? You are muted right now, by the way. There you go. Okay. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Um, okay. This is a uh, group bill Annie. I didn't understand. Group bill Annie. Ah, well, this bird uh, behaved very similar to the crows we have in the United States, and it was eating the berries off the trees right outside the window of the um, of the condominium we stayed I, in. I remember when you took this yes. picture. Yeah. I was fascinated by this bird. And, you know, you probably, this bird is probably a nuisance in your country. People probably don't like them, you know, get away. Um, but to me, it was, it was just a fascinating bird to watch. And the sounds yeah. it made were very loud. Yeah. And that reminds me in Australia, when I was there, you know, everywhere you looked was a white ibis. White ibis were everywhere. They were on like pigeons. They were at the gas station. They were on the street. They were in everyone's yards. And people were kicking them out of the way to get rid of them. But we, in the United States, we would drive to go see the white ibis. You know, so I find that very interesting about what birds are nuisance birds. And I just noticed this bird that I had totally forgotten. And I, I, I wanna say what this is, but I want you to say what it is first in case I'm wrong. Is this a frigate bird? Yeah, you're right. This is a frigate bird. Yeah. <laughs> Well, interesting story. Um, we had a magnificent frigate bird come through Atlanta about two months ago, and it was blown off course by the hurricane and came to, to a lake north of Atlanta. And every birder on earth was driving there. People were camping to see it. People were coming from all over the place to see this bird. Really? And I spent two days there, 10 hours each day, just trying to see this bird to add it to my bird list. And I didn't even realize I'd already seen this bird in your country. I'd totally forgotten about this. <laughs> so this is the magnificent frigate bird, right? Yeah, that's right. Wow. This is the, the, I guess, the, the female. I had totally forgotten this. And I'm so happy right now because I just found this bird. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am. And I'm gonna put <laughs> this bird on my Facebook page and everyone's gonna say, wow, you're awesome. You're the best. <laughs> but this bird was just flying by the, the lunch where we went to eat lunch. Remember we were taking pictures of the pelicans and your first picture was from that cafe on the beach in Santa Domingo. Um, and I remember, uh, go ahead. A nerve stream. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. So, um, <laughs> So I remember also uh, that we did a solar astronomy event in, in, uh, in a Spanish fort, I think. Um, and there was a young man 
that came by. Oh, I've got lots of good pictures from the Dominican Republic. I'm going to have to go through all of these. Uh, wait a minute. Maybe you'll like this one. I know everyone's getting bored with my photos, but I run the show. <laughs> right? I get to do whatever I want because I run the show. Uh, so here we go. What kind of bird is that? Oh, <laughs> that's a sweaty bird. Yeah. <laughs> and you can see you have your Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project hat on. Yeah. <laughs> so that, was, that was pretty cool. Um, but there was a young man that came up and he was what we would call a street beggar or whatever in our country. And he was carrying a shoebox. And I don't have a picture of this, this man. Yeah, he was about seven or eight years old and he was trying to hustle us for some money. You know, he wanted us to give him money. So we hired him to do our solar astronomy event with us that day. And I gave him $20 and we, we told him to be our security guard for the uh, solar astronomy event. And he had lots of fun. So I'm trying to find a photograph real quick uh, that will show this beautiful fort. And I remember someone telling me the story about the dungeon in the, uh, in the fort where they would, they would keep people in the ground in these dark holes for forever. And uh, that was not a good part of the story. Uh, <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, this, this was our solar astronomy event. And this is uh, Carlos Pena and Rafael from right to left and Rafael. And I don't remember. Eric, Eric. Eric and Eric Chris, Ramos and Chris. Chris Calavera from New York City went with me to the Dominican Republic. So, and that's the young man, I believe, looking through the telescope that we hired. <laughs> and these are, this is the mount and telescopes that our donors and sponsors provided for your astronomy club yep. that you still use now. Yeah, that's so, right. And as you see, Carl's is holding a, a batch of Charlie Bates solar astronomy glasses. And I believe Raphael has a pair of solar binoculars from, yeah. our, uh, from our sponsors. So let me stop the screen share. Well, I'm having so much fun. You know, those, those bird calls on Fritz's presentation really, really made the, made the program, in my opinion. I really, really like that. Raphael, you Thank should you have had much. bird calls. <laughs> <laughs> so um miguel would you like to uh come on is your uh is your english good yes hey man how are you i'm fine very glad to be with you here and how is astronomy going in in your world uh well really great but <laughs> you have a, a bad weather right now Mm -hmm. And are you also a bird photographer or a bird watcher? Yeah, yes, I have. I have some some pictures. Oh, and you're a member of our Sunlit Earth page, right? Yes. 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 That's so right. I, did you have any it, comments to add or any questions for anyone, or what did you think about our broadcast? It, it, excellent, excellent. <laughs> uh, I I very very happy with the presentation of Freaks and and Rafael. Um, and, and yours, <laughs> that is very funny. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not, I'm not a very experienced birder, so. Maybe I, I can show you uh, uh, some pictures I Please. take last week. Maybe, maybe you're going to. Alexander, do you have time for, to stick around with us for a while? Very good. Let's see. And um, Miguel, you are a, a Hollywood actor, right? In your spare time, <laughs> you are a professional <laughs> musician. I, I try to do some some shows and yeah, yeah. and movies. You are a professional gigolo. I, 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 <laughs> I love you. Hey, you can see me. Yes, yes. This one, is, I take it in the in the back side of my apartment, and then I discover. See, this is a one. This. Ah. <laughs> hey, they like to this. watch cable TV, huh? They have their own cable yeah, television. This is this. This, this sorry, electrical. Oh, oh. Cables from a uh, inverter. Right. Here we have a very big problem with the energy, and everyone have a, a backup system. Uh, and this. 
this one create uh, this home <laughs> over the the, the 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 batteries of the of the and these are the red-legged thrush yeah that's it yes oh it was a, a big a big show over there Ooh. lunchtime yes that's it not good for the caterpillar but very good for the bird what is that a frog no, it's, uh, it's uh, a lizard. A lizard. Yeah. That's an incredible photograph. This is in the, in the prom of my apartment. Wow. Oh, this is another one from here. Um, yes. This is the fake, one of the favorites of Fritz. Mm, the nutmeg. <laughs> Yeah, and this one is one of the favorites of mine. <laughs> oh wow! So I, I I like a lot of. What do you call the that flamingo there? We call it the American flamingo. This is the Car the Caribbean one. Caribbean flamingo. Yeah, because we you know we call everything the American something because you know we're Americans. Yes, <laughs> even, uh, even though you're also Americans, but we think we invented everything. But we yes, are. We the, they have a, a different color from the American one. Okay, so it's different. Okay. The, the color comes from, from where it, it eats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, these are I beautiful. Have, I have a lot of picture of, of this bird because I like it a lot. Of. Would you please post some of these photos? This, on is, the this, is, one of my, this is one of my favorites. Yeah, that is if a, a detail of, of it. Miguel, um, you know, the bird feather is a natural diffraction grating for light, and it helps produce some of these vibrant colors. Um, can you post a couple of these flamingo photographs on the Sunlit Earth page when we get done? Great. The, these are absolutely will be, will be uh, uh, an honor for me. Be honor and for this us. is one of the other birds I like a lot of this. This is... Uh, do you yep, know this, the species of this hummingbird? This is in my book, at least. Yes, this is not a, a hummingbird. Right. It's, uh, the name is uh, not chiquis. With, what is that? The, uh, the, mm. That's OK. Maybe you can tell us on the Sunlit Earth group when you find the name. Yes. Well, me puede ayudar, Rafael o Fricks? He's muted. We, we know the, the Spanish name, but uh, Barrancoli, but I don't know. Barrancoli. Barrancoli in Spanish, but I don't know in English. Okay. okay. We will call it the pretty hummingbird for now. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, uh, Ale, this, is, this is the, this is the friend of, of Rafael. <laughs> yes, yes. They call it narrow billet, narrow billet. Narrow billed hummingbird. Toddy. Okay. Narrow billet toddy. Cody, it's not a, a hunger. Oh, go back to that photograph. No, that's, that's not a hummingbird. Okay, I'm no, sorry. No, it's You're not. Right. Hummingbird. The bill is obviously not a hummingbird. So the narrow bill toddy. It's it's very little, but it's not a it's not a hummingbird. Okay. The, Thank you. This one. This is this is a, a hummingbird. Right. Look hey, can flowers. you see the falling in the in the air? Yes. This is <laughs> amazing. What a wonderful picture. Yeah, that's crazy. And this one, the same thing here. Mm -hmm. Is there nectar in the cactus flowers? Yeah. Ah. It's, uh, we call this uh, alpargata. <laughs> alpargata. Yes, it's, the, it's like a cactus. I see. And that's and the... This is a... Uh, Madame Saga. I would say, is that a, uh, in English, the summer tanager or a tanager species? I, I don't know. So. Very pretty. What a beautiful. Here's the cuckoo. 
<laughs> yes. And um, he counts the cuckoo. <laughs> Now that's a sparrow of some kind, right? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, house sparrow. A house sparrow, yes. We have those everywhere. I believe Alexandra has the house sparrows everywhere also. Wow. So there. Wow. And I think the that... house sparrow. Very good. Oh, I think that that's it. <laughs> awesome. Um, let me see if I can. There you go. Good. Uh, wow, those are some really beautiful birds. Um, Miguel, what what sort of camera gear do you use? Do you use a DSLR and a, and a telephoto lens? I, yes, I have a Canon, a, two Canons. Mm -hmm. uh, P5 and some single lenses. Wow, uh -huh, uh -huh. very good. Um, yeah, those are amazing. So I don't know if, if you know Alexandra Hart or not, but she's in the UK and she is a solar astronomer with our group and she is also a birder. And I could see the drool coming from her lips as she was watching those birds because they don't have anything like that in the UK. <laughs> and, and Well, we have the house sparrow. <clears throat> yeah, we had the house sparrow. <laughs> we have those here as well. Well, but, I have a couple of questions. Please. Um, it was very interesting to see Fritz um, on the shorebirds. And um, when he showed the turnstone, I thought that looks very much like our turnstone. So I actually got my book out um, and had a look. Because <laughs> he had the, um, the Latin name, it has, is actually the same as our turnstone. And also the Wimbrel. We also have the Wimbrill as well. You did. So that was very interesting wow. to see that you have um, both the same birds that we have in the UK, which was very interesting. Now, are they on your coast? Yeah. Wow, interesting. Wow. Yeah. Because mm. we have those two birds here as well. Would they be on your coastal regions or in your cities also, Alexander? Only on the estuaries and things like that. Okay. Okay. So that well, was my first um, point. But what I really wanted to ask was, you know, when we see, like on the news, these terrible hurricanes, um, like in the Caribbean, um, like with 120 mile an hour winds and things like that, where do all the little birds go? Do they hide somewhere or do they just keep feeding? You know, what happens to them or do they die? Well, recently uh, uh, we have some kind of a uh, storm here and I was really afraid of my hummingbird. And, and the, the next day, I just woke up in the morning and looked for them, and all of them were there. <laughs> I don't know where they go, <laughs> but they, they survived, they made it, and it was so, whoa. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's amazing to think it could be a 180 yeah. mile an hour wind and that yeah. hummingbird yeah. could find some place to hide. We, we, have, we have a, a tree, a fallen tree, a lot of uh, electricity uh, form, and but they made it. They they did it. This this is amazing. And Alexander, I don't know if you know this, but the 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 typical path for the cyclones or the hurricanes is over Fritz and Miguel and Rafael's home, and then up over my home afterwards. So they generally go northwest for a while, and then they turn back to the northeast and come right over Atlanta. So we don't get the hurricane, we get uh, tropical storm winds, which are usually 50 to 70 miles per hour. So the, a lot of the birds are blown out, uh, uh, the larger birds are blown up to the United States. And that's why we saw the frigate bird this year. And also we saw the brown booby, uh, which is another bird that's very unusual for us. But you know, I would imagine that, that thousands, if not millions of them are killed during these storms, but, uh, you know, they found a way to survive. I mean, that's an incredible thing and a great question. And also in the chat, um, I also wanted to know, you know, from Fritz, did he record all of those bird sounds himself <laughs> or um, are they from somewhere else? No, I, I use a, a site 
and I, I can send a site where I, 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 I get the recording of this bird. So he downloaded them from the internet. From the internet, yes. And I asked him the exact same question on our practice round three days yes. ago. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we use an app here in the United States called Merlin. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Also, there is a, a CD uh, from Culinary University that is very good. They have 99 birds of this country. The, the sound is very interesting because they and have the Latin name and, you know, right. We use it's the Merlin Bird ID app here, and it will play the call of the bird from your phone if you want to compare it to what you're hearing, or some people use it to lure the birds in, uh, which you should not do that much. Um, but yeah, th those those sounds really brought the presentation alive, I mm -hmm. thought. You yeah, know, we, we need to get a recording of the sun somehow <laughs> and, <laughs> and play it during our, during our sun presentation. And um, Steve Rushing is with us. Steve is here in Atlanta and he is a good friend of mine who goes birding here and teaches me new things every time we go birding. And um, he is a uh, supporter of the program as well. I don't know if he's interested in, in making any comments or not, but we're glad that Steve is here. Um, I tell you that that time really flew fast on this one. This, this has been a fantastic Southern broadcast. I wish I, we may try to get maybe the Tunisians next next time or something. You know, we we're in 28 countries now, and I know we just added Ecuador, which uh, may rival the Dominican Republic for birds. I think Ecuador and Colombia have more species of birds than anywhere on the planet. And I know Alexander's. I can see the wheels turning in Alexander's head about she and I meeting in the Dominican Republic to go birding with you guys, <laughs> because we. I have, I have to say, uh, Stephen that uh, you say that Alexandra is like a rocking star or a movie star. And <laughs> let me tell you that when I saw her name, I, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> it's Alexandra Hart. I can't believe it. <laughs> really, really, really. I, I'm a huge fan of you. Uh, really. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she, she uh, is a very informative source. And we uh, did a paper together on, on the solar chromosphere and it's published on her page and my page and you know she, she's no nonsense and her humility is quite charming and she's also a brilliant mind so she is a great person to have on the show and she participates in everything which which i really appreciate she and i were to meet with her husband uh the hubby is his name and uh we were to meet in florida this past year in april to go birding together at cape canaveral and of course the virus caused that to cancel and everything got canceled and we were very sad about that. But I can see the wheels turning now. So we'll probably end up in Santa Domingo with you guys going birdie. <laughs> You're very welcome. I hope to have you here soon as the pandemic goes up. <laughs> and and yeah. the hospitality from these people is, is cannot be compared. It's, it's unbelievable. They are fantastic people. Steve, how are you doing? Thank you. I'm doing well. I just wanted to really thank uh, Raphael and Fritz for taking me birding this morning down in uh, Espanol. Uh, it's, 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 been a, it's been a fun morning. You brought me good luck. I disappeared a minute ago and a male um, rose-breasted grosbeak landed in a tree just right off my porch. So, I'm, Stephen, I'll, I'll post the pictures here in a little bit. I can't um, wait. Was it, did it have the nice colors and everything? Uh, you know, it's 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 the immature male, but I got some pictures of getting. Uh, That's dog. fantastic. I was thinking about going over to the Clyde Shepherd Nature Preserve here in a minute, also, but we'll see. All right, but uh, thank you, thank you guys again for taking me birding this morning. Yeah, it was lots of fun. So, um, Miguel, Fritz, uh, Raphael, Matilda, you've left us. Um, Raphael's hummingbird feeder, and Alexander, thank you so much for being on our show. And if you're interested, Alexander and I are hosting a solar chat, a solar astronomy and imaging Zoom meeting Sunday night. And uh, that will be advertised on our pages as well. And again, this is This Week in Birding and Nature Photography, hosted on the Summit Earth Facebook group. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gracias, mucho gracias. And we will see you very soon again. And we hope to see your photos on the Summit Earth page. Thank you. So everyone Thank have you. a nice Thank day. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you to you for the invitation. Nice Bye -bye. to see you. Thank you. Bye. Adios. Program. <laughs> Bye.